Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today we're gonna start with the topic that is health and organization after a long break. Let's start with this chapter. So before starting, what do you understand by health? So what is health? Basically health, according to World Health Organization, it is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease and infirmity. So we have understand what is health, that is a complete means overall all the things will be proper like mental physical and social so after that what are the common health problems we face in india so we know that india is a vast country it has highly diverse geographical and climatic conditions so as per the population it is distributed into five types of habitats so the first one is big cities second is small towns villages remote areas slum dwellings so you can go through the video you can understand what are the things it is okay so next is health diseases differ in each kind of habitation however we may generalize them as follows like the diseases can be divided further according to their habitations okay so the first one is food and waterborne diseases so several diseases like diarrhea gastroenteritis typhoid dysentery are very common in areas where deficient in proper water supply source of water are contaminated certain places harmful mineral contents in water obtained through wells or hand pumps causes health problems untreated sewage or effluents from industries poured into rivers and other water bodies harm the people living alongside so through the point you can understand water food and waterborne diseases and how it causes next is our number b point that is insect and airborne diseases the public in general and uneducated peoples are not conscious of the flies which alight on exposed foodstuff and contaminated them. Lack of general cleanliness lead to breeding of houseflies, mosquitoes and other insects which causes diseases. So in villages, peoples, those who are uneducated, are not conscious about these all things. So what happens? The houseflies, mosquitoes, they breed themselves and causes diseases. So the next one is international bodies. From the topic itself you can understand what I want to say and in your mind also the topics are means the points are coming. So the first inter so before starting the inter international bodies topics okay. So international bodies are what two most important international bodies concerned with people's health are Red Cross the first one and the important one. The Red Cross is a na national as well as international agency. The main function of Red Cross society is to perform activities which should prevent or remove human suffering in peacetime as well as at the time of war. It was formally founded in 1864. The emblem of Red Cross Society is a red colored cross painted on a white background. So you have got a brief idea about Red Cross. Now the major activities of Red Cross Society are as follows. You can write the points if you wish. First point is to extend relief and help to victims of any calamity that is flood fire it is written a for rd it will be a five rd earthquake and famine etc to pro procure or supply blood for needy victims of war or other calamities to extend all possible first aid in any accident to educate people in accident prevention to look after maternal and child welfare centers so these all are the points which red cross society deals the second important body that is the international body is who the famous one world health organization so the world health organization who established in 1948 is a specialized agency of united nation organization or uno the reason for the formation again there is a mistake it will be for for reason for the formation of who is member countries of uno focused on the need of creating an international body to look after health problems of the people of the world this was particularly felt in the field of research on the causes and cure of diseases. So basically WHS work is to research on the cause and cure the diseases. So some of the diseases are malaria and smallpox are the two such notifiable diseases by WHO. And the last point or the last topic of the chapter that is health and organization of class 9 that is main activities of WHO are as follows. The first one that is to collect and supply information about the occurrence of disease of epidemic nature. Second is to promote and support projects for research on diseases. 
to supply information on latest development about the use of vaccines, to suggest the quarantine measures to prevent the spread of diseases, to organize campaigns for the control of epidemic and endemic diseases. So students, I will say you to write the points. It will be very easy for you. I have made it very small. So guys, I have tried to cover most of the part of this chapter that is health and organization. The first picture you can see is the remote areas. The second one is slum dwellings. Third one I am showing is a small town. And the fourth one is villages. Fifth one, the big cities of our India. Next is diseases that spread through air is airborne diseases. It is given. Okay, inhalational, measles, cryptococcus. Okay. Next is influenza, tuberculosis. These all are airborne diseases. Second is waterborne diseases, typhoid fever, cholera, giardia, dysentery, E. coli. Okay, these all are waterborne diseases. Next is the founder of Red Cross, that is Henry Dunant. He is called the father of Red Cross. Okay. The next is World Health Organization, that is WHO. So the chapter is completed, that is Health and Organization. So before ending the video, I would like you all to say that follow the points whatever i have given in the video pause it and write it down in a copy the upcoming exams which are coming give it your best and yeah one more point that is very important keep safe distance use sanitizer and wear a mask and hopefully everything will be okay chalo fir milte hain next video mein sab log acche se padho and yeah sure we'll drop down one more video with the new chapters and at last we'll be dropping a video for question answers Thank you.